Oh, man. Wake up in the morning just now feeling nice and rested. Nigga, a community guideline strike. We're going to have to break one of the sacred mantras on this channel. No Twitch niggas. But it's temporary. Unless this is able to get fixed up soon, we're going to be there for the next three months. It's funny. There wasn't even any explicit genitalia or sex shown, but I guess on YouTube, I should have known that's enough to get your old shit taken down nowadays. We can deal with the purple until we get back to the red. I will be leaving my... Ugh. Twitch in the description, so check that out if you're trying to keep up with the stream stuff, man. But the morning after my little ban on YouTube, I came up with a great idea. Celebrating one year of the Nintendo Switch, why not do something which commemorates the beginning of the Joy-Con Boys thing? Do you guys remember what started that? The fake Nintendo Switch that I had made. I was supposed to do more with it, but it just sat on the shelf. I didn't have the resources to do what I initially planned. But I think what I want to do today is share with you all the comparison between the real deal and this fake product, which was a mock-up made entirely off of nothing but the image teasers and the preview stuff in the trailers that we saw no official dimensions were leaked these guys put this thing together for me literally by eyeball that's it the box first off looks professional as fuck shout out to the guys over at cnc designs for making this thing for me shout out to frank and them too i see you my nigga this was done months before even nintendo ambassadors were able to get their hands on a switch so when i had made my initial leak video Joy-Con boys oh shit it set nintendo ablaze nigga and that was the fucking plan starting off here fake switch dock it's a lot more prone to breaking everything as you can see here looks the part but it definitely doesn't feel it. I wasn't even super, super rough with this thing in the past, or was I? You have to make sure you're extremely delicate when putting it inside, kind of like that. That's how you kind of do it. All right, so I tried not to be super rough with it, but there's absolutely nothing in the back to be expected since all it needed to do was look official. As long as I don't move it, as you can see, it's fine. They had like laser etching on the front to give it that authentic switch feel since they saw that in the trailers. And I'll be getting the real dock, of course, to compare this with later. If you're just looking at it from the front and the side, even with these little notch here for the power light, which I lost somewhere, and these little nubs for the um, USB stuff, it's kind of hard to tell at first glance exactly if it's real or fake. And next up are the Joy-Con. You're gonna notice with them that the joystick is broken here too. Like I said, a circumstance of it just being brittle due to being a replica, these were some of the things that kind of gave away it was fake when I initially posted it. You can see the buttons here, the X, A, Y, Bs are a little bit big and bold. People were you like able to say, hey, wait a minute, why would they look like that? Um, the Joy-Con, me holding these for the first time in a long time, they feel a little bit bigger, definitely a lot heavier. I think this whole thing was made out of like Ryzen Reason or something like that. It's not going to have the similar feel or weight to it at all. These, fun fact, are actually magnetic magnetic to be able to slide into the switch dock the fake dock it gives off the impression of it being real and it wouldn't slip out this shit makes me look irresponsible as hell because everything in this box is busted <laughs> completely flat on the back but from the front that's where it all matters i kind of messed up by showing the fact that it was completely flat on the back a lot of people like hmk for instance saw that and said nintendo would never design something that looks so bad for handheld ergonomic design and he was right man this part was held on by some glue so it kind of snapped off i think that happened while i was filming a skit or something there's magnets in both the grip and in the actual um, switch tablet itself so as you can see I can put these things right in and they don't fall out it would fit in like this and bam can you even tell the difference yourself, my nigga? Unless you're right in front of it and you know, you ignore the broken joystick, yeah, you wouldn't. Now, for the piece de resistance, or however the fuck you say it, the actual Nintendo Switch tablet, or I should say Switch tablet itself. Even to me now, extremely legitimate. The only problem with this is that there was definitely been damage over on um, the last year. This side of the tablet is actually cracked. You won't be able to see it well from this angle, but from a different one you will. Has a couple of um, inconsistencies with the real thing. For instance, the back is totally black, but that's the way that it actually looked in the first trailer that we got. There was no huge branding on it. It was just kind of like, oh, this is the tablet. The vents here, which once again, 
done way before there were ever any um, switches in anyone's hands. Um, this was only a few weeks after the reveal that these guys made this. The little card slot for the game card had actually broken off at some point, so that one's like, I don't know where it is. They don't have a kickstand on this one. They were trying to apparently, but figuring out the mechanism to do in the short term that they made this for me, they were like, ah, uh, whatever, you don't really need it. Just prop it up and it'll look like it has it. On top of it all, um, I don't remember the exact time frame that I gave them, but I said I wanted to be able to have this fake done up for me in like two weeks and they, they got it to me in like a week. I'm not sure if I'll be able to slide this in all the way. I remember it not being able to go like that. And yeah, this one's not gonna go. So it's it, it doesn't have the real, real look, but it, it, when, when it used to slide all the way in, this shit, you could fool anybody, man. Look at that. Um, I had actually been at Nintendo headquarters recently, and uh, one of the employees there had said, bro, at one point, man, we were all freaking out because we thought like something happened and you got your hands on one, you came to the office and stole one or some shit. But apparently they knew in like an hour that it actually was fake. So at least that, for at least for a little bit of time, I had the offices on fire. And that's the fucking point, man. You guys better watch out, man. Don't let me catch y'all slipping the way that I did with that fake switch. Y'all make it way too easy a couple posts on 4chan and bam it's legit weren't you the same nigga spazzing over that confidential pokemon leak a few days ago and then realizing it was all fake nigga maybe it was like a week or two ago guys all good memories that was the start of what we have built to up to this day and i'm proud as fuck of it you all should be too happy birthday nintendo switch <sighs> i love you Oh.